There's only one time it's good to be bad, and that's when you're picking in the NFL draft. The Dolphins were bad, awful. 1-15, in 15, but that gives them the number one overall pick. So as we have all month long counted down, every team in the NFL, we're now at the Dolphins. Jeff Darlington covers them for the Miami Herald and joins us now from Florida. So, Jeff, let's look back at 07. They picked Ted Ginn, got a ton of criticism for it. He had two touchdown catches and one on a punt return. Then they get John Beck out of BYU in the second round. So if you're grading them, how would you rate 07? I wish I could tell you. It's, I think it's just too early. We saw these guys a lot. We saw guys like center Samson Satelli. We saw Ted Ginn. We saw John Beck. And, and generally, there were some good things from each. But uh, I just think because there was so little talent around them to allow them to grow at all that it was really tough to judge a guy like quarterback John Beck. But uh, the potential was there. Ted Ginn showed some things on teams, also started to show some things on a wide receiver at wide receiver. And uh, John Beck also, I think that Bill Parcells and Jeff Ireland actually liked John Beck a little bit more than uh, they might have expected to. So generally speaking, they got some good picks out of last year's draft, everything from a center to a fullback, uh, a wide receiver, and potentially even a quarterback for the future. And Matt Ryan is the guy in our Todd McShay and his mock draft, and for a lot of people that's going to be the number one overall pick or deserving of it. Uh, how do they decide what to do with Beck and whether he merits holding off on a guy like Ryan? Well, I'm still kind of torn about whether I really believe whether Matt Ryan will go. I look towards past drafts of Bill Parcells. He did pick up Drew Bledsoe in 93, who's also similar size, six foot five. Uh, you know, Matt Ryan, 220 pounds, so a big quarterback, uh, prototypical for Bill Parcells. So maybe there is some hope there that Bill Parcells would draft him number one, but I don't think that he's given up on John Beck yet. So that's going to be very interesting because they have so many other needs. They have so many other other needs to address from defensive to offensive line, to the secondary, depth at linebacker. So <laughs> I think that there's more potential that they could trade out of this pick. So if you had to say right now, you put your money on it, do they stay where they are or do they trade out? And if so, who, who are the, the, the teams really talking with them the most? I understand why Todd thinks that, that, that Matt Ryan could be a potential pick there, but I really think that they're going to trade out. I think that they could wind up going down to maybe making a deal with the Cowboys with that 22 and 28 pick, uh, you know, uh, getting something else in that, in that deal along with that. But uh, we'll see. There's really not, you know, Glenn Dorsey, obviously, a uh, solid player who's going to get along great with Bill Parcells. We'll see if he's the prototypical defensive tackle in that system. Uh, otherwise, you know, you're looking at uh, Jake Long, offensive tackle. They need an offensive tackle. I'd expect them to move Vernon Carey from the left side back to the right side and find some way to, to fill in at left tackle there. So uh, watch for them to pick somebody up in free agency or an early round of the draft with that pick as well. There are those who believe Miami will have a hard time trading out of number one. It involves so much salary for the team that picks somebody there. If they can't get rid of the pick right now, who's their most likely guy taken first overall in the NFL draft? Oh, I, I, you know, I'll go with Todd on this and say Matt Ryan just because, uh, you know, I think that you can still deal him later if you need to, uh, if you can get him going in a Phillip Rivers, Drew Brees kind of situation, get his stock uh, risen until you can trade him away if John Beck does work out. So I'll go with Todd on this and say Matt Ryan, even though I'm still not sold on it completely, I really uh, think they're going to trade down. All right, so you talked about all those needs, basically everywhere except running back, and you could argue they, they could yeah. use some help there, but especially the secondary. If they go for free agency and filling one or two of those needs, who might they target first off the board? I think Asante Samuel is a shutdown corner in the Patriots. He's going to cost a lot of money, but the Dolphins are in pretty good salary cap situation, so... They could go after a guy like that. They, they do need a shutdown corner. They've got some decent things going in the secondary. Uh, Bill Parcell, Bill Allen, I think that you'll see him stick around uh, at corner. But uh, to have somebody like Asante Samuel playing opposite him, that would be a pretty solid pickup in my opinion. Jeff Darlington, you had the uh, misfortune of covering the Dolphins all season long, but at least it'll be an interesting draft for you for the Miami Herald. We appreciate you joining us, and we'll talk to you again soon. Anytime. No worries. All right, so it's now time.